Hey Gems! So I'm going to do a updated what's in my makeup collection video for you guys tonight. So let's just get cracking. The first thing I'm going to show you is this little guy. And this actually used to house in my last makeup video, or my makeup collection video. I will put the link below. And this used to house all my makeup palettes, but or eyeshadow palettes, but it's definitely grown a lot. So I just keep this little one in my purse now. And two little things I can't fit in here, but I just keep an EOS lip balm. And this one is in Summer Fruit. I love this. And inside, like that. I have my little Revlon. This looks like a lipstick, but actually, it's a brush. It's not like the softest brush, but it's really nice. It's small and compact to keep in my makeup bag in my purse, so have that. Then I have an EF Studio Gloss, which is really, really pretty. This one is in Twisted Kiss, and it's really, really pretty. It wears off really nicely. I actually got this in a giveaway that I won, so that's really fun. Next, I have my Mary Kay lipstick, and this one is in Natural Butte. I love this color. I love the packaging, too. All you do is you push down, and it comes out like that. And that's the color. I don't have any makeup on whatsoever right now, just because I didn't feel like doing it. So... Then, two new lipsticks that I just got. I got a Rimmel one, and this is in 645 Dusty Rose. And it looks like that. It's really pretty. I'm trying really hard to do more um, darker lips for the fall and the winter. So, next one is by Revlon, and this is their Color Sensation. And this is in Plum Perfect. It looks like that. It's really, really pretty. So those are two new ones that I got. Another lipstick that's in my makeup bag is also by Rimmel. And I actually got this on clearance for like $3.50 at Ulta. And this one is in the color Burgundy... Excuse me. Burgundy Shine. And, oh god, I love it. It looks so pretty on. Love it, love it, love it. And I like their packaging too. It kind of reminds me of like Urban Decay. So, next I've got my little blotting sheets from e.l.f. I have a cleaning tissue for my glasses. I got my pressed powder, and this is just by Coverall, which I believe is by Wet n Wild. So, looks like that. It's not the best powder, but it's a lot thinner than my other ones, so I just keep that in there. A little compact mirror. Baby lips. This one is in Peach Kiss, which I absolutely love. Got some hair ties, because I always keep my hair up most of the time. A big sexy hair, little hairspray. It's just like a little trial size, or travel size. And the last thing, or last two things, is this Ulta Super Shiny Lip Gloss. It's just like a little guy. And this is in Mischief. And the last, of course, is my small perfume of Love Spell, because... You guys, if you guys watch my channel at all, Love Spell is absolutely by Victoria's Secret. My absolute favorite scent of all time. <laughs> Alright, so my main collection consists of three different bags. The first one is my, this is where I keep all my brushes. This is the Victoria's Secret bag. I really like it. And I got it as a birthday gift at, from my stepmom. And it really hasn't changed much since last time. I've gotten a few new brushes. I'll show you some of the newer brushes I got. Um, I actually just got this as a freebie, which was really cool. It's the e.l.f. stippling brush. Looks like that. Haven't got a chance to use it yet. This is a brush that I love, but I kind of disappointed at the same time. The brush itself is fantastic. It's super soft. It's the e.l.f. powder brush, and it's just like got a flat top. The only thing I did not like about it, which I've actually seen a lot of girls on YouTube have been saying this, is that the part right here that actually connects the brush to the... Um, yeah, this part, the handle, uh, breaks off really easy. So I just took some super glue and glued it back on. So I did get a new eyelash curler, but pretty much, if you look inside, hasn't really changed too much. Next is the big kahuna, as I call it. Ugh. Looks like that. It's my new makeup bag that I got from my friend, uh, Lindsay, <laughs> a couple 
about a month or so ago. I just love it. It's got a really nice zipper on it. And open it up. That's what it looks like on the inside. So on the top right here, I just have some eye products. Like these are all like my different kind of eyeliners. And then I've got some lip products on the other side. So if you flip back that, that's what that looks like. And then it's I've divided it up into two main parts. This side I normally keep my all my face products, and like this side I keep like eye and lip products. So I'll just go through most of what I have. I'm not gonna go through everything just because then it would probably be like an hour and a half long video. So the first thing that I always keep in here are my setting sprays. This one's by NYX, and I actually did a review on this. If you'd like to see that, I'll put the link below as well. And this is their matte finishing spray. The only thing, I love this product, it works great. The only thing I don't like about it is that it smells like stale beer. But it goes away in like 10-15 seconds, so that's not bad. Uh, the next one is the e.l.f. Mist and Set. And I have not had a chance to use this yet, but I did just get this as a freebie. So I was excited to try it. Or I am excited to try it. <laughs> okay. For foundation, I have two of them. My first one, which it's like half gone already, um, is my CoverGirl Oil Control, and I am in 520 Creamy Natural. I love this foundation. It's very lightweight. It's got light medium coverage, which is great. And this one, I'm I'm kind of on the fence about still. It's the Rimmel Match Perfection, and I am in 120 Ivory. It's a lot thinner consistency for foundation. And I don't know. I'm just still on the fence about it. I want to use it a few more times before I actually give like a good review on it. But it's got a light medium coverage as well. And so, yeah. So I'm still testing the waters on that one. Okay. Blushes. Got a, quite a few blushes actually. But I love blush. It's one of the main things I love about my makeup. <laughs> Uh, but next month when we move, I'll definitely do a vanity tour because I'm finally going to get a vanity. I'm so excited. So, okay. The main blushes I have are by NYX. I did a review on these also. I'll put that link below. There's going to be a lot of links below in this video. <laughs> then I've got a CoverGirl blush, and this one is in True Plum. And Ulta Minerals blush in Peony. The e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer and looks like that I have to hold them because they popped out even though I've already uh, hot glued them once if they've popped out again but I haven't really had too much chance to play around with that and then the last one I have is in all oh, second to last one is an all May smart shade blush it's like a uh, cream blush little 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 bit goes a super duper long way with this one I've found out <laughs> And then the last one they have is a mineral blush by CoverGirl, and it is the True Blend, and this one is in Shimmering Sands. Okay, powders. Label is kind of already rubbed off, but this is the Rimmel Stay Matte uh, Powder, which I love. Looks like that. And mine's in Nude Beige, which is 020. Then I've got my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder. I love this powder. It's fantastic. Looks like that. And then the last one I have is the True Blend Minerals, and this one is in 405 Translucent Fair, and it looks like that. So I really like that one. Okay, so for bronzer, my main one that I've been using, and I don't know where my other one went, oh, here it is, <laughs> is the Jane Bronzer, and this is in Dream. I think it's a really good dupe for the Benefit Hula. So that's what that looks like. And then I do have a small Benefit Hula. And I'm just going to do a swatch for you guys because it is so close in my opinion. The consistency, the texture is very, very similar, I think. And it's just really, really pretty. So, okay. So the first one right here on the bottom, that is the Jane bronzer, and then the top is the is the Benefit bronzer. And if you'd like, actually we'll throw in the e.l.f. bronzer as well. Why not? Okay, so the one on the very top is the e.l.f., the one in the middle is Hula, and the one on the bottom is the Jane bronzer. So they're all really close, in my opinion, 
and um, I like them a lot. So next are concealers and I have a few concealers but the ones I am obsessed is definitely NYX. The one I've been using mostly lately is the NYX Photogenic Concealer and I'm in the shade Medium. I love that. The other NYX concealer I have is the Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer. Next one I have is the e.l.f. Uh, highlighter in Duo. And it's pretty good. It works really well. I like it. And then the last one I have is a CoverGirl one that I've had forever. Then I've got my e.l.f. which you can't see because it's all worn off. This is my makeup remover pen which I love. And my favorite highlighter that I have is the Wet n Wild by Fergie. And this is in Rose Champagne Glow talked about it a lot. Looks like that. It is amazing. I absolutely love this highlight. Okay, on to the second side where I keep most of my lip and my eye products. So first thing I'll show you is eyeliner and mascara. For eyeliner, I've got three of them and the first one I normally I love using is the Wet n Wild H2O Proof the first actually liquid eyeliner I purchased was the Mega Liner by Wet n Wild. The third one I have is the Hard Candy Walk the Line mess or liquid eyeliner. I love, love, love the packaging on this. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's very like tattoo. It just reminds me of like old school tattoos. Alright, then I've got my duo glue for my lashes and the mascaras I've been loving lately, of course very one it's my holy grail it is the Jordana best lash extreme and it's just oh my gosh if you have not gotten it yet if you have a Walgreens anywhere near you go there buy it it's like $2.99 you will absolutely fall in love with it second one I have is the covergirl lash blast fusion don't use this one too much as of lately just because I've been using this ever since I got it this one I absolutely love. This is the Lash Blast Lengthening from CoverGirl. I do need a new one because this one's almost out. But I'm trying to use up other mascaras that I have. And trust me, I have a lot. <laughs> and then the other one I have, the last little guy I've got, is just a smaller one. And it's by LA Colors. And it's a brown mascara, which I don't have any brown mascara. So it just looks like that. It's got like a little curve on it. So it's, I mean, it's good. It does a job. But normally I like black, lash, black lashes, especially since my hair is black now. So I've got another one of my little e.l.f. blotting sheets in here. Last two things I have in this part for eyes is I just got this as a freebie. This is by Mary Kay, and it's a lash primer. I've not had a chance to use it yet, but I definitely want to do a review on it when I do. Ah, dropping stuff. Then I've got two gel eyeliners. This one is by Wet n Wild. I got the Essence gel liner and this is Midnight in Paris. It's just a black liner. I've not had a chance to use it yet, but plan on doing so soon. Okay, now for lip stuff. And a lot of this um, makeup, I've bought all this makeup myself or I've won it in a giveaway or I have done swaps with other girls on YouTube. So I'm not trying to brag at all. I know a lot of girls love watching makeup collections. I know I do. I absolutely love, love, love. It's one of the probably the most watched things I watch on YouTube are makeup collections and vanity tours and that kind of stuff. So I mean I just like to see what other girls have in their collection and you know all that jazz. So okay. Lipsticks that I've got. Ones that I tend to use more often we'll say are like these ones. Okay, so I've got three of the Wet n Wild lipsticks, and they're in Light Pink Frost, which looks like this. Very summery color, nice and bright. Then I've got Breeze, which is one of my most used ones. I love it. Very pretty, shimmery nude. And then I have dark pink frost. So I have light pink frost and dark pink frost. And it looks like that. Then I've got a NYC color duo or city duo, and this is in the Rockefellas. Ulta woo, an Ulta lipstick, which is in number two two three, which again is a really like pretty 
shimmery nude color. Got my Revlon Lip Butter in Creme Brulee, which I stinking love. It's one of my most used lipsticks that I have. Then I've got a Milani uh, lipstick, and this is in, what is this in? Ignition. It's like a really pretty watermelony kind of color. Got a NYX Mood lip gloss. These are really neat. They kind of go on clear, and then they change with the, like the temperature of your lips and like your pH balance and all that stuff, so that's pretty cool. I have another Baby Lips, and this is in Cherry Me. And then for lip gloss, I've got... I'm just pulling out here. Got a few that I really, really enjoy. Oh, I forgot something too, so I'll show you that in a sec. I like um, CoverGirl lip glosses. I've got a bunch of them. And I'll just kind of show you. Like that. Got a couple Wet n Wild ones. Got this an elf. This is an elf matte lip gloss. Or hold on, it's falling. Okay, this is an elf matte lip color in T Rose. I really, really like this one. Got a kind of like a lip gloss palette that I tend to mix a lot of the colors in. So and it's very well loved and mixed and all that jazz as you can see. Now I just got it all over my hand. And then also what I keep kind of on the face and side is my two eyeshadow primers. I have the Milani eyeshadow primer, which I use every single day. And it's almost out, so I went and picked up a while back, actually. It was on sale, the Wet n Wild by Fergie um, eyeshadow primer. So if you guys have that, let me know. And let me know how it works. Got an Avon Intense Glaze Wear um, lip gloss. <laughs> Don't know the color of this. Um, it is way too small for me to even read, so I'm not even going to try. And then I've got the uh, Blash Flipstick from CoverGirl, and that is in Whisper. Alright, next, I'm going to show you this awesome bag. And this is where I keep all of my eyeshadows and eyeshadow palettes and eyelashes and all that awesome stuff. And this is also a Victoria's Secret bag, and I won this in a giveaway. And it looks like that on the inside. So I'm not going to show you everything. I'm just going to show you some of the things that I've been loving. Of course, I couldn't show you without showing, or doing this without showing this. And this is the NYX Wicked Dream Palette. It's my favorite palette that I own. Look at all those pretty colors. And I did reviews and uh, review and swatches on this, and I'll put that link below as well. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of links. <laughs> Got eyelashes, some e.l.f. ones, and let's see. What else? Mud and Lemon. This is another NYX palette. This is their natural palette. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this. Looks like that. You get six colors, a couple nude, or a couple matte, a couple shimmer. They're gorgeous. And that will definitely be in my October favorites video that I'm going to be doing next week. Okay. I've got two color tattoos, and let me see if I can find the other one. It's in here somewhere. Where are you? Stupid thing. I don't know. It's in here somewhere. But this one is in Bad of the Browns, and I use this one the most. I also have Tough as Taupe. I've got some pigments from LA Colors in here. I've got four different ones. Let me see if I can find them all. Oh, of course. There's my other color tattoo. And then, like I said, this one is in Tough as Taupe. And I guess I could show you. They're just kind of like paint pots or, you know, color bases and stuff. That, And I love the way, I don't, this may, does anybody else like this? But, you hear that? I love the sound of them. I don't know why. It just, I don't want to go back on. But, I don't know. I really like it. And then this one is in Bad of the Bronze. I've had this probably for close to six months. And, I mean, look how much product is still in it. It's amazing. Absolutely love it. Okay, so my pigments, as I was going on about. Like I said, these are just the LA Color ones. I've got four of them. Let's see. I don't know if they even have colors on them. Um, yes. Okay, this one is in Honeysuckle. 
I hate the brush that comes with these darn things. It seriously, it is the most useless little thing on the planet. Looks like that. So, I normally just chuck the things, and then if I want to use it, I'll just tap a little into the uh, lid. So, then another one I got is Chocolate Sprinkles, which is really pretty, like, brownie color. This one, I don't even know, because I've had it for so long, and the little sticker on the bottom has come off. And this one is in Black Pearl. And I just got it all over the place. So we're not going to take the top off of that one. <laughs> okay, I've got a bunch of loose eyeshadows, like single eyeshadows. So I'll just grab a few of those. I love this bag. I, I was so excited when I got it because I'm like, I'm going to put all my eyeshadows in there. So, okay. So I've got some Ulta ones, which I absolutely adore. And I've got three Ulta ones. This one's in Social Climber. That one is in Deep Sea, and this one is in Molten. How pretty is that one? Then I've got a e.l.f. baked eyeshadow in Burnt Plum. I love this color. I use this color a lot, actually, with this one. And this one is a Revlon Diamond Dust, or Diamond Lust, and it is in Plum Galaxy. The only thing I don't like about this is there is a bit of fallout if you don't tap off your brush really, really well. But I will use Burnt Plum all over the lid and then in the outer corners I will put that. How pretty is that? I've got a Wet n Wild Single Shadow in Nutty. Looks like that. Another palette I absolutely love but unfortunately they discontinued it. Although I did find on Amazon that you can get like three of them for like $23. This one is the Wet n Wild Downtown Browns palette and it's kind of seen better days but I'll uh, open it up for you. Hold on. And as you can tell I actually broke those two because I dropped it. But there's so many gorgeous colors in this little palette. So if you really really want one um, you can go on Amazon.com and they should have it still. So let's see, what else do I have in here? Oh my gosh, this little guy I freaking love. I don't know if this is new to Ulta or if I'm just uh, like way like slow on the bandwagon, but these are their Extreme Wear Cream Eyeshadows. And it looks like that. And the color I have is in Almost Famous. I think that's what it is. Yep, Almost Famous. And it just comes with like a little doe foot applicator. It's really wet, but very, very blendable um, when you put it on. And the pigmentation in it, here, I'll just give you guys a little swatch, is just freaking gorgeous. So that's what it looks like right there. And I'm going to blend it out just a little bit so you guys can see that. Can you see that, I hope? I really hope you can. It's so pretty. I love it. That's also going in my November favorites. So you guys are getting a little sneak peek. Uh, another single eyeshadow I have is by NYX and this is, I use for my brows and this was in Bare My Soul. I love this color for my brows. It's perfect. Like I said, I don't have any makeup on whatsoever. Then I just got a couple other eyeshadow palettes in there and some other lashes. Like, got this one by LA Colors. Got this baked uh, berries baked collection from um, Physicians Formula. Sorry, I couldn't think right there for a sec. Looks like that. Got that as a giveaway prize. Got this one, which is Color Mates. Looks really pretty. The colors in these are actually super pigmented. And um, I got this at Dollar General for like a dollar. <laughs> And then I've got my quad in Copper Chic from Maybelline, a Revlon Color Stay, this oldie but a goodie that I still really love, and the Fantasy Makers that I used for my Halloween look. So that is the majority of my makeup collection. I do have another makeup bag that I use for kind of like my overhaul or stuff that I don't really use a lot anymore, um, but I still, would, you know, I don't want to throw it away. So, I'll show you guys that. 
Alright, so if you guys watched my first What's in My Makeup Bag video, you'll probably remember this little guy. And I've had to obviously upgrade. <laughs> but I just keep all of my extras or things that I don't wear on a normal basis. I just keep all that in here. So, first thing I'll show you is like extra mascaras and that stuff. Honestly, I don't need mascara probably for another 100 years. Um, but honestly, I will buy my Jordana Best Lash Extreme again because I just can't get over how wonderful it is. So, these are all ones that I've either, I've purchased, let me see, I've purchased these two. These are both by Wet n Wild. This one is the Mega Protein, which I do like. It's very wet, so you have to really be careful because it can get under your eyes really well. Uh, and this one is the Mega Plump. I don't like this mascara because it just feels like really dry, and I don't feel like it plumps my lashes at all and that's what the wand looks like so then the rest of them I've either gotten as freebies or as giveaway items or swap items so the first one I am actually really excited to try this this is the physicians formula organic wear mascara and big old fat brush on that so I am excited to try that one then I've got a Wet n Wild in very black, a Mary Kay one in black, and an e.l.f. one in black. So like I said, I'm set on mascara for a while. Alright, so some other stuff that's in here. I've got a uh, pearlescent pink rose blusher from Wet n Wild. Got my Color Icon Ticket to Brazil bronzer. Got an LA Colors. Uh, this one is in natural uh, eyeshadow, or eyeshadow blush that I like but I'm really picky now on my blushes <laughs> I just have my favorites got a BB cream by covergirl which is too light for me I've got a wet n wild coverall foundation that's too light for me um, but I did use this for my Halloween makeup and it went on awesome it looked great got a backup of my Rimmel Stay Matte powder which I freaking love it's my absolute one of my absolute favorites an essence eyeshadow base, so I've got plenty of that. Got a chapstick white cocoa or white hot cocoa, which I'm waiting to open for more towards Christmas. Got a couple eyeliners that I don't really use too much. Got like um, this. Well, this is a eyeliner, like a liquid eyeliner, and this one's like in a gunmetal color. Got like a dark blue, bright blue. This one I use like for my brows. This is by NYC, and I'm pretty sure that this one's by either Wet n Wild or Essence. Um, but as you can see, actually, no, I think it's LA Colors. So, and that's just the eyeliner as well. And then I've got a few backup lipsticks. I've got an e.l.f. one, and this one is in Gypsy. Very nice, pretty. Actually, no, I might put this in my actual makeup bag because, like I said, I'm really trying to go for more darker lips for the fall. Well, let me just swatch that one. I haven't swatched this one in a second. Looks like that. It's a nice, like, berry pink. I've got two Milani lipsticks that looks like that. I like their packaging. It's really pretty. And another one that looks like that. This was my, okay, this is actually kind of a funny story because this was my first red lipstick that I tried. It's by, I think it's by, yeah, it's by Wet n Wild. And it's in Stoplight Red. It looks like a clown on me. But I did use it for my Halloween makeup. Looks like that. I did use it for my Halloween makeup. And then I put like black, that black loose um, eyeshadow over it. And it looked really neat. And then I also, I have a NYX Soft Matte Lip Gloss. And that's pretty much it. The last, the only other thing that I've got in here are like my little Bare Minerals things that are pretty much empty. Um, but I wanted to get other ones, so I wanted to keep them to make sure I got the right color. So that's it. I hope you guys really like this. Like I said, I love doing um, makeup videos and everything like that. I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial this coming week, so stay tuned for that. Also, on Sunday, we're going to have my house party, and so I'll be vlogging and taking pictures and making a video on that. So lots is happening, and I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I'll talk to you before then, but... Um, safe travels for everyone, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. I love you. Bye!